We're testers. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com. Today we have a detailed look at the Nike LeBron 13 Elite. This colorway hasn't released yet. I do not remember the release date, at least not off the top of my head, so I apologize. However, I do think that this is the best looking colorway that I've seen of the shoe so far. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at their tech specs. So on the outsole, we have the same exact setup as the regular LeBron 13, but these actually improved the cushion. I did air quotes, but you couldn't see it, by adding two more zoom units in the forefoot. Now, is those two tiny little hexagons on zoom units enough to really beef up the cushion in this compared to the regular LeBron Elite? No. But people seem to think so, so we'll just let them run with it. The traction pattern is the same as the original LeBron 13, so I expect performance to be identical. And then we move up to a Phylon midsole with some really dope gold speckled detailing. And that, besides the gold swoosh, is just, I mean, that looks fantastic. The entire upper is made out of Kyurem and mesh. Now this Kyurem is a little bit different than the stuff that they used on the Jordan, uh, what are they called? The Jordan Ultrafly. This Kyurem is thinner than the Ultrafly's Kyurem, but it will be just as effective. It's going to be durable. It's going to be form-fitting. It's going to be comfortable. And with all of that, it's also going to allow some airflow because underneath that is full-on mesh. Now, the entire forefoot area and tongue of the shoe is nice and soft because that's all unrestricted mesh, but the, the heel areas are, are pretty hard. I think that they're maybe infused with glue or something because they're really, really stiff up here. And that makes sense for a player like LeBron because this is his shoe and the Ultrafly fly was made for more of like a guard player and so those were super soft all the way through but that rubber just kind of held its structural support intact. These will do the same but they've added glue like I said in the collar area so it's going to be just a more stiff ride. You can see the lion on the tongue and I haven't seen that in quite a while although I could have just not really paid much attention but they used to use that a lot in the soldier line and it's interesting to see it on the main model. I think the last time I saw that was on what was it the LeBron 8? Was it on the LeBron 9? No it wasn't. The 10? No. The 11? No. The 13? Wait, 12? What was the LeBron 12? Oh yeah. No. 13? Flywire makes up the lacing and that could be the only drawback of the actual shoe here because Flywire sometimes is durable and sometimes it isn't. So it's gonna be like luck of the draw type thing, but there is nothing else, you know, that, that the laces are relying on other than those Flywire strands. So hopefully they are strong enough to hold up. And last but not least, we have a gigantic carbon fiber wing and it looks like this was implemented less for torsional support and more for lateral support because it's like so tiny right here, but then it goes way up on the uh, lateral end of the ankle. And and that pretty much takes care of it. I think this colorway is awesome. You, 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 you really can't go wrong with these colors. And as people had mentioned in the unboxing video, it's, it's a white ranger thing. And so you gotta love it. It'd be cool to see somebody customize these with a green and just leave everything else the way it is. Cause then you got that green ranger and white ranger pretty sick. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for our support. Stay tuned for an upcoming performance review. It should be pretty quick. These and the KD Elites just because I've literally played in both of these before and the changes done are so minor that it should be pretty quick. Although I am doing the Kobe 9, not Kobe 9. I keep calling it the Kobe 9. It looks like the Kobe 9, but the Kobe 11 uh, mesh, the, the EM version. I'm still working on those, so that'll be coming up first as far as performance goes, and then um, I'll, I'll get to these and the KDs afterwards. So thanks again, and until next time, guys, have a good one. But I'm pretty sure. That's right, folks, it's the new and improved calf condom. These are only the shin, though, so it's just the shin condom. Under Armour's calf condom was more like the Magnum condom, and this is just kind of the regular, like, one-size-fits-all condom. And if you are too young to get this stable, duh, because Boost is so highly responsive and bouncy that this stuff by itself can be an accident waiting to happen. Really curious to see how the D-Rose 7 performs, because those things are kind of like